I got a job after completing my course and then uh, I landed up in USA through Infosys and in US I got thoroughly bored with the uh, materialistic way of life absolutely no going to any uh, temples or any religious organizations nothing in fact in America what do you find mainly churches so many churches so i thought that if i can't get to go to a temple i said i will go to a church because i could not uh, be away from spirituality or uh, or uh, some thing connected with god so some colleague of mine one colleague of mine in my workplace he told me you can refer the yellow pages and see if there are in temples the time i was in boston and yellow pages means it's a it's a business telephone directory means all businesses dealing with steel it will be under the steel category so if you want to look up videographers it will be under the category of videographers like that so temple category temple category there's only one listing and that was the international society for krishna consciousness <laughs> I didn't know what it was I just couldn't make any sense out of it but I just asked that colleague of mine is this a temple yeah it should be a temple because it's written under temples maybe it's a temple so he was an american so he didn't know anything about this corner temples so he said uh, you can call that number and find out how to go to that place so I called that number telephone number listed there and uh, at the other end was a devotee of Iskon who picked up the call and he gave me directions how to reach that place this was in Boston in USA in uh, 1985 1985 sometime about a uh, fortnight before Janmashtami this I can remember the first time I went to Iskon temple I didn't know it's an Iskon temple I just went there and uh, that devotee who had received the call i had told him i'm coming at such and such a time so he was there at the door to receive me because it was winter not winter it was getting kind of cold winter is much later sometime in november it starts so this was sometime in august but it was getting cold so they kept the door closed so i went and rang the bell like a doorbell and then the devotee opened the door with a big smile and folded hands he said welcome to our temple so when i saw that smile in within my mind as some thought one day i want to be smiling like him at the first thought that crossed my mind when i saw his smile he was an american and he was dressed like he is dressed dhoti kurta and uh, wearing tilak shaved head i said is an american and he is so nicely dressed in our culture according to our culture and i am here in shirt and pant and what am i do so i felt a little ashamed that uh, we are losing or lost our culture but here are some seriously interested americans who are so much interested in our culture and our heritage that we should actually be put to shame anyway he welcomed me inside and he straight took me to the prasadam hall i didn't know anything about the place he just later on i am recollecting that he took me straight to the prasadam hall and made me sit down and served me a nice uh, plate of prasadam puri sabji <laughs> puri sabji samosa and kachori and uh, uh, gulab jamun and one milk barfi this is what he said huh? no darshan just straight took me inside and gave me prasadam so i was completely impressed i said this is wonderful and then uh, i said i thought 
next he will take me around and show me the place uh but uh, he said uh, you like this dinner i said very much very much and then uh, before be- when i went to that place i was cooking in my room which i was sharing with another colleague of mine where we were on the same project in through infosys in you were in boston so my cooking was terrible and my friend never used to cook my colleague never used to cook he used to eat outside sometimes he would try eating what i used to cook so we had not eaten a proper meal in several uh, months i would say several months we had not eaten so that was like a a, a feast for me a treat and then he said you like this i said very much he said come again tomorrow evening okay. that's all he said I was wondering he's telling come again tomorrow evening i said okay i'll come this way back from my office to my room in between one of the train stations one of the subways the metro what we now say metro metro stations was this particular uh, temple so i got on in between in that metro station went to the temple again boarded the metro and went to my room after this next day evening again i came again straight he took me to the prasadam hall fed me it was indian dinner that's what he called it and every evening we have indian dinner please come so the second day he asked me can you help me with cleaning up this place i said sure i want to help you i can't just be eating and just going away like this so he made me wash pots the vessels which were used for cooking he made me wash them and this went on for about a week i go there have dinner and then help him clean up the place looks like the time i was going was evening when all the guests have finished uh, you know being entertained uh, being uh, given prasadam the guests prasadam the devotees have separate so guest prasadam it's the almost the closing time i used to go at like 6:30 7 o'clock at the 7 nobody comes no guests on a weekday guests won't come so this went on i was not going on a sunday the sunday was a off day for me so i would not go out so i would not go to the to the center then once he told me why don't you come on a sunday also so sunday we have a special program so sunday i went it was the sunday evening program which is for public and that is when they get a lot of people on sunday so sunday evening i participated in kirtan and then a discourse and then the feast prasadam along with so many other people and that is when i got to hear and see the deities and hear kirtan and actually uh, came to know little something about this question